What is going on guys and welcome back to the big show. My name is Terrence. Today we'll be continuing our story following the career of UFC lightweight prospect Desi the Merciless Martin. Before we get into today's fight, I want to take a moment to just apologize for my late upload this week. I got a cold and I'm just now starting to sound less nasally, so bear with me. Today we're taking on the executioner James Vick, a lightweight prospect himself. At 14-5, and five, his only defeats have come at the hands of incredibly tough opponents like Justin Gaethje, Dan Hooker, and Benil Dariush. While he is on a four-fight skid of devastating losses, he does have name value. Taking him out will prove that we are more than ready for the big leagues and hopefully fast-track us to a ranked opponent and ultimately that lightweight strap. I'm expecting a lot of kickboxing and Muay Thai from Vic. A lot of kicks up high and to the body, and probably a good amount of clinch attempts. My plan is volume up high so I can find a home for Desi's trademark high kick. Because I've strictly been upgrading Desi's stand-up, avoiding the ground is going to be crucial in today's keys to victory. Already I'm seeing Vic throw a ton of just flashy strikes, ton of kicks um, right there to the midsection and again to the leg. Uh, we're going to try to circle to his weak side and hopefully he, oh my God, he, had, he is throwing every kick that's in this game right now. If, it, if there is a modified kick to throw, he's throwing it. I'm getting beat up right now. And there's the clinch that we've been trying to avoid. Looks like he was trying to throw an elbow over the top there. Uh, good kick to the body there. My plan is just keep working up high. If I keep the one, two in his face and I upgrade my, my uh, straights there. As long as I keep that jab in his face, I'll be working him down. Uh, I can accumulate here and put him away. That's one of Desi's, oof, barely blocked that high kick there. That's one of Desi's biggest strengths. I think if I can just keep the jab in his face, keep him distracted, keep a couple feints out there, keep pressing forward. Right now I'm keeping his back against the cage and he goes for the clinch again. I think the right thing to do here since I'm working the head so well already is if he decides to throw a lot of clinch attempts at me, I'm just going to punch my way out of him. Ooh, and I rock him there. Good combination. I'm really getting better at throwing these combinations. Desi is starting to look really, really, excuse me, crisp. Oh, and I get taken down. Of course, I have yet to really defend a takedown in this game outside of training sessions. They are really hard to time. I'm sure I'll get better as I play, but still. And I'm going to throw a kick there, high, throwing a couple different angles with that uh, that heel kick there, that hook heel kick, or heel hook kick. Another high kick, and he throws a spinning kick. We are just getting crazier, and I knock him down, punch him out of the air, interrupt or disrupt that uh, flying knee. He's trying a lot of those, and he hits me with a head kick. Uh, right now, the goal is just not to accumulate a lot of damage. Um, we're doing a really good job of hurting him with a lot of these high strikes, these head strikes. Uh, my straights are doing really well. My hooks are doing really well. My kick game to the body and to the legs has looked really crisp thus far um, as he throws another Superman punch there. That's really the dangers of this fight is him flash rocking me with some of his strikes. But there you see, see, that's what I'm talking about. If I can punch my way out of these clinch situations, Oh, and these knees. I love those clinch knees, man. I do those all the time in play now, and so it's it's nice to whip them out in career mode, too. Oh, and he reversed it. <laughs> the round ends there. That could have been ugly. Like I said at the uh, end of that other round, uh, I think if I just stay in his face um, and punch out of the clinch situations and don't get caught with any of these flashy... Uh, strikes that he's trying to throw, I should be fine. I'm not too worried about stuff like his straights. Oh, and I got him. <laughs> oh, that trademark kick. This is it. This is it, boy. I'm telling you, this is it. Oh, oh, and Vic with another devastating loss. Make that 14 and 6 on his record and add me to the list of incredible fighters with a ton of potential to step in against him and get a devastating victory. Ah, that feels good. That feels so good. I'm hoping, I know we won't be ranked yet, but our name's got to be in the conversation among some of the top fighters in this weight class to continue devastating everyone they put in front of us. Last week, it was uh, Mark Jacasey. This week, it's the Texecutioner, James Vick. 
everyone has fallen victim to that high kick. Everyone has fallen that has stepped in front of Desi, the merciless Martin. Uh, you can't see it, but I'm I'm doing the mime of give me that belt. Give me the strap. Give me the strap. <laughs> Come on, Herb. Show everybody, make it official. Show everybody who the best lightweight on the planet is. That's right. Desi Martin, say no more. Say no more. All right, guys. So next week, we'll be taking on Jim Miller. Obviously, an accomplished lightweight. Uh, had a lot of success in this weight class. Fought some of the very best. He is a complete mixed martial artist. And while I've yet to be scared of anyone they put in front of me yet, I'm a little worried on whether or not we'll be able to have the skills. But Desi doesn't turn down fights, so we will take Jim Miller next. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.